Want to get into hammock camping but don't know how? You'll want to stick around. Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. Today we're with an experienced hammock camper, Andrew Austin, and he's agreed to come and share some of his tips with us today. So thank you for joining us today, appreciate that. Absolutely, great to be here. So to start, I really am curious about how you decided to get into hammock camping. You left the tent at home and what was the draw? Uh, the big draw really is being able to have the flexibility of camping wherever I want, not needing to find a flat place um, with no rocks, no roots, um, where I could camp comfortably and wake up in the morning happy. And leave the weight of the tent at home at the same time. Absolutely. That's great. So if I want to get into hammock camping, what are some of the basics of gear that I might need to start out? Probably the, the five items that you need when you're hammock camping is the hammock itself, a suspension system, a tarp, a bug net, and insulation to keep yourself warm. So a bug net might be good today because we've got some mosquitoes going here. So, um, so your first hammock camping experience, was it comfortable or, you know, what was the learning curve that you went through? There is a bit of a learning curve to hammock camping. Uh, my first experience, when I went out, I was actually quite cold. Um, I had the typical CBS, cold butt syndrome, uh -huh. <laughs> where I woke up about an hour after I had fallen asleep and I was very cold. Um, after that, it got much better as I learned and did more research um, into the gear we're gonna talk about today. Okay, great. So let's start maybe by showing an introductory uh, hammock and some of the gear that you started with, and then we'll progress through some of the more advanced stuff and see where you ended up today. Absolutely. Okay, let's take a look. So a basic kit will consist of a hammock. Um, I started out with a very simple budget hammock from a local store. Um, 20 to $30 will get you a great hammock to start out with and test if you like hammocking or not. With that, you want to make sure you get a quality set of tree straps or tree huggers so you can protect trees while you're hanging and not dig into the bark, very important. For insulation, a cheap sleeping bag from any local store, um, $30 will get you a good sleeping bag that will keep you warm in your hammock on a cool night. In addition to a sleeping bag, you'll want a pad to help insulate you from underneath. When you're on a sleeping bag, the sleeping bag will compress and lose its ability to keep you warm. So get a good pad to keep you warm throughout the night underneath as well. A good bug net is vital, especially on nights like tonight when the bugs are out. You want to have this so you can have a good uninterrupted sleep throughout the night. A good piece of equipment and the final piece of equipment you'll need to make sure you have a good night's sleep on your hammock is a tarp to keep the rain off of you if it does come. If it does look like clear weather, you can put it away, but it's good to have it just in case. Andrew, thanks for sharing that. This is a great starter pack that I could buy and use and probably be comfortable for a few nights. But after doing it for a long time, show me the gear that you're using now. Sounds great. Okay. My current setup actually follows the same guidelines as the basic setup. I've got a new hammock um, that is lighter weight, more modular, and allows me to attach some accessories or some storage options in more convenient locations. My straps um, are a little bit more adjustable than my previous set. Um, my insulation, I've moved away from a sleeping bag and pad to an under quilt and a top quilt, which are much easier and more functional in a hammocking situation. And from my small tarp that I showed earlier, I've upgraded to a larger, lighter weight tarp that provides more privacy and coverage. Let me show you some accessories that will make your trip a little bit better. First thing is a set of battery powered string lights to hang along your ridge line to light up your evening. An inflatable head pillow to keep your neck from getting sore overnight. Walking sticks that can actually prop up your tarp and give you a porch mode feeling. A camping chair to keep your hammock away from the fire and still give you a nice sitting spot close by the warmth. A ridgeline phone hanger so you can watch a movie or read a book before going to bed. And stakes to help stake down your tarp. All right, let's go set one up. Okay. After selecting proper trees 12 feet apart or so, you want to, at the height that's comfortable for you, wrap your strap around the tree 
and clip it in using a carabiner or other hardware so it doesn't come loose. This strap has an adjustable device that makes it easy to get the right distance for your hammock. Now that both straps are attached to the trees, we'll go ahead and connect my hammock to the buckle. Notice that this hammock comes in a bishop's bag or a compression sack, so it's all in one piece. Okay, Andrew, we've got this set up. What's the height that you generally like your hammock suspended at? So I like to make sure that the bottom of the hammock is about chair height, so that if I'm falling, it's not gonna hurt me too bad. Right. I never like to hang more than I'm willing to fall. Okay, good plan. Let's go ahead and put in the pad, your top quilt and your under quilt. My under quilt has quick connect clips that allow you to very easily clip right onto your suspension. My insulation, and I say it's on elastic cords, pulling it snug up against the sides of your hammock, avoiding any loss of warm air. I'll grab the top quilt, that upper blanket to keep the top of you warm. You notice it looks very similar to a sleeping bag, but there is a foot box at the bottom that you can stick your feet in to keep them from falling out or the top quilt from falling off of you in the middle of the night. Setting up your hammock is as easy as that. If you see the rains on the forecast, you'll want to set up your tarp as well. And don't forget any of the accessories that I mentioned to make your night more comfortable. We hope that you've enjoyed these pro tips for hammock camping, and we hope that you'll join us again at OSME TV.